So this particular trail, if you go to Litachora, you're going to take this road. You drive, 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 drop. It's kind of windy. It's rather attractive, beautiful looking road, if you will. And then close to right about here, you're going to see a bunch of cars parked in this area and a dirt road takes off off of this paved, this main paved road and you drive down there and hopefully you'll find a little bit of parking but you park there and so the very first refuge is Petros Stroga which is here and it takes a, a good solid three and a half to four hours to get to this location and um, um, what we did the recommendation was to stay here one day the following day, hike all the way up. And so the second night you would spend here. And then the third day you would wake up. The third, the second morning you would wake up. You would finish, do your peak, and then head back down, either stay here or go to the bottom. What we did, we parked our car here. We hiked up to here. We said, you know what? That's a long ways to make to go all the way up to the top and then all the way back down to the bottom because we couldn't get a reservation because we hit this on the weekend and it gets pretty busy. So, and I'm gonna say unequivocally, it is much better, much wiser. Take a tent. Like these, you're not gonna get any sleep in these refuge. They're, they're like um, bunk beds. Uh, some of them have like, seemed like 30, 40 people somebody's always going to be snoring. I maybe, we, we stayed up here and I maybe, I was lucky if I got an hour sleep, which is extremely difficult and perhaps maybe even uh, do, uh, dangerous to think about that you're going to go ahead and end up doing this summit. I think that we just felt like um, to make it back down was going to be a good solid six, seven, um, almost maybe even eight hours. And to add on an extra three hours to actually end up doing the summit and returning would have been too much. So what we did is we stayed here in Apostoloides uh, for the night. And in the morning we did Prophet Elias and we hiked all the way, all the way down. And by the time we got here, boy was I, my legs were burning. So it, it was a lot. And I do say that it would be extremely difficult to hike to here in one day, spend the night. The next morning you hike up to the top and then you come all the way back down. I think that would be too much. Of course, it kind of depends on one's physical ability, your age, um, uh, and your physical conditioning. But the best recommendation is you can get to here and you're comfortable, hike all the way up to the top and spend the night up at the top. And probably the wisest thing probably would be to go ahead and if you really want to summit this, this uh, the, the top of the mount, um, um, this scolios, uh, you would spend the night here, hike up to here, and the following morning, make it back down and spend the night here and then complete your hike. If you make it all the way down to here, perhaps you're just gonna go ahead and get back to the car park so you don't have to fool with the refuge. Uh, but I would again, highly recommend that you work it out where you bring your own tent so that you can get a proper night's sleep. It's gonna be a little bit chippy in the evening, so it's not just a tent you're gonna need, you are going to need some type of a, um, a sleeping bag or something to keep yourself safe and warm, if you will. And these guys are a little bit on the wild side. I'm gonna grab myself a tree. <laughs> 